What's up, SEO pros? Welcome back. Chase Renner here, and this is my last day in this Airbnb. We're actually going to be moving to a different one. Um, actually, it was supposed to be today, but uh, accidentally booked it for tomorrow, so we're staying in a hotel tonight probably. But just giving you guys an update on where I'm at. A lot of people know that I've been traveling. Uh, but anyways, what we're doing today is we're going to be doing a SEO audit, a $1,000 SEO audit. And I wanted to do it live for you. Sometimes I do these behind the scenes because people don't want me to do the audits live. But um, the guy that I'm doing this for said it's fine. So I'm going to be doing the audit uh, live today so you guys can see and learn and know how to do audits. Now, if you want to follow along and uh, do an audit yourself, uh, feel free to sign up for my Shine Ranker tool. Uh, that's what we're going to be using for this audit. Uh, you can go to shineranker.com. You can also go to the description of this, uh, the link in the description of this video, and you can go pick up Shine Ranker. Um, but yeah, let's just go into the audit. And we did already get paid the, uh, it was $997 to do the audit. So that's exciting. Let me uh, share my screen. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Bring up the comments on my phone too. So I actually have to be out of this Airbnb at um, 11. So I have about an hour exactly to be able to do most of this. So hopefully I'll be able to do as much as I can in that hour. And I already did look at it a little bit. So I know kind of what's going on here. <clears throat> Let me just, I'm just entering the studio with my phone so I can see this with my phone. All right, now I should be able to see the uh, comments. If you can, do me a favor, put a one in the chat just so I can see if the comments and everything um, are working. Seems like they are. Cool. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go open up Search Console and Google Analytics. Um, uh, basically what I did is I sent over this SEO spreadsheet. So, um, our guy can fill it out and he filled it out uh, with Google Analytics and Google Search Console granted to my email. Screen is blank. Uh, I don't think so. Looks looks fine to me. All right, so we're gonna go here. Oops, sorry, that's not the that's not the website. Let's go. Oh, different email, sorry. There we go. And we're gonna go do analytics as well. All right, so we got GA4, which I absolutely hate. I'm not a fan of Google Analytics 4, but it's fine. We're gonna have to accept it either way at some point, so it is what it is. Okay, so these are the metrics from GA4. I just hate the layout, honestly. They even, okay, pages and screens, I guess this is the This is the breakdown of the different um, of the traffic on the different pages. So we're looking at March fourth to the thirty first. We got uh, to the home page. It looks like is this is it show you the actual page. Sorry, I hate GA four. Uh, I'm just assuming this is the home page because it just only shows the title for some reason, which is really odd to me. Can you change that page title and screen class? So weird. Um, 1,600 visits on that page, contact 2,600, uh, blog 2,300. It doesn't, I don't see, I don't think we have goals set up, so there's no goals, um, which is, that's definitely one thing that we're going to want to put in there. So goals would be, 
And I'm going to actually have to redo this template because I don't even know if we have, oh, I guess we do. So goal set up. Wait, did somebody already do this audit? What the heck? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I guess Dustin already did the audit. <laughs> or Justin, I mean, that's weird. Um, okay, well, I guess I don't have to do some of it. We're going to go to the site. Let's go to dental marketing guy. Now, first thing I like to do is I just like to break down um, where the rankings are. So what I do is I'll go over to Shine Ranker. Um, we're going to go log in. Traffic checker, enter keyword, and we're going to see what he's showing up for. <laughs> all right so dental seo expert number three and i think what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to just download all these and then put them into the template i think that's probably the first thing we want to do is so we'll just do traffic check grab all that copy and paste it in Rid of these weird columns here and let's actually make that a little bit bigger so we can see it okay here we go so we got all the keywords we got the monthly searches we got the current rankings and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to freeze this top row here you freeze two rows actually and then we're going to look and see which ones have the closest rankings because those are the ones we care about looking at first. That's where the Z to A didn't work. I'm not sure why. It should filter by A to Z and give us the lowest ones first, but it's giving us 81 first. I'm not sure why, it's kind of odd. Uh, oh, well, okay, so then let's just do, I'll just do some conditional formatting on this really quick and we'll just look at anything with three and lower. So less than or equal to three is green. Okay, now we can kind of see the main things. So we got um, dental marketing guy number one, dental marketing consultation, and this looks like it's all the homepage, dental SEO expert. Um, and really just the two main pages are, that are ranking are the, the sub page and the home page. And it's funny because these are almost competing with each other. So I almost wonder if one of the pages should go for something else. Um, because these things are both very similar. I guess this would be better to map this dentist marketing consultant to the home page and then this to the sub page because we're hoping that does this, is this going to say dental SEO? I can't here. Let me actually run an audit. So let's run an audit. We're going to go to shine ranker, shine audit, enter it in, grab that, plug it in. Let him know we're live just in case he wants to watch. All right, let's, uh, we're going to download all this once it's done. We're hoping that this redirects and is there two different versions of this? Yeah, that redirects, right? Okay. I sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, what happened to my screen? Why is it blank? Give me a second. I'm not sure what just happened there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure why it went blank for a second there. Maybe the sneeze destroyed the screen. Okay. Holy cow, how many pages are on this site? 
we know that not many of these other pages are really doing anything. So that might also be an issue, all these categories and everything, which is probably something that I would recommend de-indexing if they're not doing anything. Live chat. Not really sure what this is. So there's certain things on here that, oh, I guess maybe this is something they, Google leaks. I guess it's a blog. Okay. Let's, uh, we're going to go and download an Excel spreadsheet. And we're going to copy all of that into the audit. Go like this. Hey, yo. Sorry, it doesn't let me see people's names for some reason. I don't know why. On Facebook. Let's get all weird, rid of all these weird lines. Make it bigger. All right. So... It looks like there's GA on this site, but it's injected through, um, I guess it's called, uh, what, is, what was it? It was like something, some sort of weird hosting thing. So that's actually green. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, a lot of these pages here, they have the keywords uh, somewhat mapped, but they're not matching the H1 is not matching the title tag. So let me go into here. So basically, if we look at this, number one, dental marketing guy, I would take that out because you see how it's truncated and everything. But either way, if you look at this, you see number one, dental marketing guy, you need it to match whatever the title is here. So instead, it would be uh, whatever that keyword is that we looked at that we should map. So dental marketing consultant, that would be the home page. And then the this page, the dental SEO expert would be the sub page. And then there's some rankings as well for it looks like, uh, what was it? Front office rocks. I guess that's just a brand, so it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just trying to see here. Let me actually take these ranks and put them closer together. Oh, I guess I can't because it's locked. Let me unlock them. Go here, current rank, boom. Um, what is going on here? I guess I can just go like this. What the heck? Oh, maybe we delete this top part. Um, sorry, sometimes Excel can be really weird or Google Sheets. Okay. So dentist SEO expert. Again, that's probably that sub page there. Let me put this back. Actually, probably the quickest way to look at this would just be go to Google Search Console, Pages, and then let's check all these. So we got the home page, 100 keywords, the sub page, and then we got some other smaller pages like these ones that are ranking for just things around citations and stuff. So, I mean, really the biggest keywords are the... Um, are attached to that dental page and then the home page and then the home page it's brand related keywords and then that other one this one right here dental marketing consultant so um let's actually go into so one thing that we really want to know there's okay so there's three main things here um, the first thing that we really want to know is how many conversions the site's bringing. 
and we don't have any way of knowing that because we don't have the tracking set up, it doesn't look like. We have the analytics tracking, but we don't actually know how many conversions are going through the site per month. So we'd want to set up probably call tracking. Oops. We'd want to set up call tracking. We'd also want to set up um, form tracking. Let's go. Yeah, because we have none of that. So let's go in here. Conversion tracking online and offline. So that's a no. Google Analytics exists. Page feed fast. SSL, yes. Site redirects, yes. Robots.txt, yes. All that stuff. Um, another thing that we notice, so if we plug this into SiteLiner, so basically, let me just write out, so a part of this is going to be a manual audit. Let me just type in manual here. So just from a step-by-step -step perspective, biggest thing that we care about is getting more leads, right? Leads and rankings. So in order to do that, um, the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the tracking, right? So online... and offline tracking. Next, what you wanna do, is that's really the first thing because without that, you have no idea how many leads you're getting. After that, what you wanna do is you want to optimize the two, really just the two main pages on the site. Let's actually see what they're scoring right now. So we already mapped the keywords for those, right? So this keyword, let me just map it. So basically mapping it just is assigning the keyword. So let's go to the right. We're going to plug this in. So that's that page. And the other, the home page is uh, this page. Okay. So those are the only really two things that we care about. Everything else here is going to be either duplicate, like all of these. The only other pages showing up here really are this one, um, this one, but I don't think that they're gonna really do anything because they're just ranking so low. Like for instance, this is ranking for position 37. This page is ranking position 28 um, and it's for a brand keyword. This is ranking position 68. This is ranking position six for a 30 search rate keyword and it's dental implant marketing ideas. I mean, you could go for something like that if you wanted to. I mean, it's something, if you wanted to have something there. Um, what else do we have? This trying to see if there's anything else. Dental web design, position 89. Dental SEO, same page, lifetime value of new dental client, lifetime value. Okay, that could be good. That's something. Better than nothing, I guess. So there are a few here, I mean, that you could focus on. Um. So what we're doing here is we're just looking for things that already have, that are close to ranking because those are the things that are going to really, dental marketing courses, I guess that's something. These are the things that are going to actually move the needle, whereas targeting something that's positioned like 50 is not going to really do anything. Um, dental SEO, call sumo. So we're just looking for, yeah, so that's pretty much all of the most valuable pages. 17, eight, but these are all pages that we've already looked at. So we're just looking for any new pages that have like some rankings already. And it looks like we found pretty much all of them. Blog, maybe. 
dental marketing blog. I guess that's something. Um, the SEO service one is actually a good one, but it's position 21. And I believe that is still that page. Yeah. So you could end up making sub pages. Well, that's when it's going to come to creating new content, but you're going to have to create that content either way. So that's just that's just when you start doing keyword research, right? Which we'll, I'll do that too, just so we can get a printout of some of the keywords. So here's what we're gonna do is now that we have some of these here and we'll look at them in a second, what we can do to optimize them. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these top keywords here that we're already ranking and we're gonna plug them into the tool. So we're gonna do keyword research here and we're gonna take the first three keywords Boom. And let's press submit and we're gonna find the easy keywords. We're gonna create a new project. Let's do add project and we're gonna do dental marketing guy. Select all, cal calculate difficulty. And ideally we wanna go for the easy keywords, but I think we're just gonna track all of them for now because I think he's already ranking for one of them. Um, okay, so we got some there. Then we're going to enter some of the other related keywords. So let's go here and plug those in. Sup review says you make a silo structure. What do you mean? What's up, Dustin? All right, check difficulty. Got some more ideas this time with these. We're just gonna track all of them. Because a lot of these are gonna be new pages basically. Um, and then let's just take a couple more. I'm gonna take these three. So basically we're gonna inject those pages in like all of the keywords as other pages of pages that we'd recommend that they build content around. Um. It gave us a, a lot of actual dentist keywords, which we don't really want. We want, well, I guess this is fine for now. So we're gonna take all these, we're going to export them and go like this. Go into here, keywords. And anything that we don't already have keywords for, we're going to recommend that that's some of the content they build. So we got, let's see if there's map. So basically we want to figure out is, are there map keywords for this or not yet? And so if we look at map, uh, we had that one. We got these ones. Um, I think was this one of them, the marketing ideas? Yeah, that was one of them. We don't have these ones, which is interesting that those have searches. Dental marketing plan example. Don't have that one. Dental marketing training, no. Dental, well, I guess it's that, that's the course one. Dental practice, no. I think we have the consultant. These these could be different pages if you wanted to. Or orthodontist SEO expert. They don't have that one. So it takes some digging. And honestly, one of the best ways to do this is just to plug in some of the competitors that are showing up. Um, these we want to figure out if they're different pages or not. I think they're probably all under the same page. So you can see we found like four there just from like that first round. 
but you want to kind of keep digging and filtering like this. So we would go freeze these two rows. Now we have a, like our first nose here, right? Or first nose. And then what we would do is we would take some of the other ones, like let's go to here or here, go to Google. This guy's taken over, what the heck? That's pretty interesting. So grab that. Um, you don't really see th this Google business is going to get, um, if somebody reports, it, it's going to get taken down just because it's targeting the whole world. I tried doing that with my business and I wound up actually getting it removed pretty quickly. So we're going to go, we take that website, go back into the traffic checker, enter keyword. And now... We get other ones, so like dentistry hashtags, um, pre-dental website templates. So now you see how we're getting all these other ideas now. So this is really, I think, the best way to do keyword research because all you're doing is you keep taking, you just go like this, take all the keywords that you don't have, plug them in, that, make this bigger, get rid of this. And now we have new keywords, boom, like that. Um, and what we would say is we doesn't uh, build page, right? Meaning we don't have it yet. And so then that we know which pages to build. Dental Facebook ads example, there we go. Another keyword, right? So with the traffic checker, it's really easy to discover new keywords like that. Free went, uh, website dental templates. Okay. Um, dental marketing ideas for June, uh, dental website templates, creative dental ads, that could work. Marketing dental products, there we go. And I would recommend doing this with like your top five competitors. Because we just went through all those ideas, right? And we could take these other ideas here as well. Now we have even more. Sorry, I think there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just gonna go like this. Boom. Now we have a bunch of other ideas for content. There we go. And then we would take the next one, right? Just keep going and digging and digging. And eventually, you'll have pretty much all the keywords that you need. Have this one, plug it in, traffic checker, submit. This guy had a lot of one, a lot of keywords. Dental website designer. See, that's a good one. Go here, plug it in. But eventually after you do this enough times, you're gonna have so many good keywords and you're taking pretty much all the keywords that Google expects you to have because it's what all your competitors have, right? Uh, what was that one? Um, Where was it? It was it was a good one. I don't know where it went. PPC for dentists. That's kind of cool. Um, what else do we got? SEO scholarship for dentists. Dental website. Dental dental website development. Um. Dental review website, websites for dental practices, dentist review websites. You'll see a lot of these are very similar. And so you don't want to take the ones that are um, super similar. You want to usually take the ones that are like, usually don't contain the exact same phrases, if that makes sense. Like for instance, PPC for dentists and Google AdWords for dentists is probably going to be the exact same page, right? 
Wix dental template. That's kind of funny. I mean, look, you know, they add up, especially when you're in a niche market like this. Dental website builder, because then you could list out like the top 10 dental website builders, whatever. Search engine optimization for dentists. Um, SEO for orthodontists. Just keep it like this for now. So those are some content ideas. I'm not going to spend too much time on the content, but you get the point. You know, so you got all these existing pages that you need to optimize first, and then you got the other pages that you're going to want to build out, right? Make sense? So for the home page, which is arguably the most important page, page you want to focus on first, we got the keyword as whoop, we got it mapped as dental marketing consultant, right? So what we'll do is we will plug that into our content editor and see how we score. Because generally, if we have a low score, then we know that we can rank higher. So you see how the title is truncated right here? That's a problem. Grab all this content here. Boom, boom, boom. So 249. So that's a pretty good score. Not mentioning practice that much, not mentioning dental marketing that much, but it's a good amount of content. Um, really the biggest issue, which most people don't know, and I figured this out when I first looked at this site, and it's usually what holds the sites back from ranking, is the duplicate content. So um, biggest things here, if you look at this, you'll see that like the homepage and some of the other pages contain the same content as you would see on you know, on one page from another, right? So what you would want to do, go back to the manual audit. So you'd want to remove duplicate content, fix duplicate titles, or sorry, fix truncated titles. Um, you'd also want to make sure that the titles matched the main keywords exactly. You want the exact match. Um, we want internal links pointing to these each of these pages. So if we go to this page, we'd ho we're hoping that this page internally links somehow to that home page with is this an image. See, that should be content. I'm not sure why that's a draggable thing. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like it links to the home page. So you'd want most of the pages linking to your main pages. So the internal links need to be optimized. going to begin building out the new pages that target keywords that rank low. So usually what happens is Google will try to rank pages on your site based on um, based on what's showing up in here. So what I mean by that is like um, if you have a, a, a keyword, let's say it's like, I don't know, um, dental SEO expert, and you can see, let's say we're ranking, oh, let me take a different example. Let's take one that we're ranking not very well for, like um, dental marketing company, right? So if you take that keyword and you look at it, like we go and look at the site here, let's do site colon, site colon, and then dental marketing company. Um, what you're going to usually see is that here, none of the pages have dental marketing company in the title. And so what that basically means is that um, none of the pages are about that keyword really. And so Google's going to just rank your website for something. It's going to rank the homepage and just say, okay, well, the closest page for this keyword is that. And so what you want to do is you want to take that you want to take the pages that don't currently exist and you want to build them out because Google's basically trying to rank you for those, but you just don't have a page for it yet. And so there's tons of keywords in here, I'm sure, that um, could be ranking. Uh, like, let's say, SEO for dentists. We already got that one. Um, let's say 
just find some of them here. Dental marketer. Um, I think we already put a lot of them up there, so they're already there. But it means that your, your current pages are not optimized well enough for the keyword that you want to go for, or um, or you just need a new page for it because like, let's say you want to rank for a dental marketing consultant, but you know, maybe the page that's ranked that should be ranking for this is different. And really you just want to see what's already out there. Right. Um, and see if, you know, the, if, if, if the same pages are ranking for the same thing, what I mean is like, if you look and see that the people ranking for this keyword are also ranking for this keyword with the same page, then you know that you just need to optimize your page better. But usually you'll see here, completely different people ranking for dental marketing company than the people ranking for dental marketing consultant. So generally you do want a different page then, right? Because Google kind of recognizes it as a separate thing. So um, you want to build out those pages. You want to fix the duplicate content. You want to set the tracking. Uh, you want to optimize the current pages so the titles aren't um, truncated and so that they, they have an exact match keyword in each of them. Um, you want to work on the internal links to the main pages. Let's go check out the citations here or just any sort of links. Uh, in title, oops, site, oops, site. What's up, Will? So it looks like there's two citations, which if that's the case, I would actually build, definitely build. Oh, we got, okay, 891, there we go. So he's got a lot, lots of links. That's cool. Uh, what else, what else do we got? I'd probably de-index some of those, some of those bloat pages like the categories or whatever, it's probably not that big of a deal, but I might do that. I honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna put that in there. Um, so really, if you just, if you just started with these top pages, you'd probably end up ranking them number one pretty quickly. So if you just made sure that these pages are actually targeting the keywords they need to target, oops, they're probably gonna rank pretty quickly. As far as the leads, um, that's something we need to address for sure. So right now, we don't know how many leads the site's getting. I'm assuming it's probably not that much. Uh, if we click on the button here, it goes to this. I'm actually curious, I wonder if Justin's on here how many bookings he's getting. I don't even know if he's watching. I just texted him because I wanted to figure out if he knows. <clears throat> but I'm assuming it's not a, a lot. What I would probably do just because when you have a site that has less tra traffic, I mean, it has some traffic, I would probably, you want to make it as easy as possible. And I'd probably just change all of this to phone numbers. So like I would change these all to call buttons. And I'd also add call buttons to all of the main pages. On, on site, all hives, all the pages are getting traffic. Um, I honestly kind of wish I could just go in here and tune it for him. It, it would be a different package. Uh, I, I think what I'll end up doing is maybe if Justin wants me to, I'll go and do the implementations live for him. Um, but you can see here, I mean, there's 200 pages on the website. Whoop. There's 200 pages on the website, but only like a few of them are getting traffic. And so that's kind of how it is for most websites. Like if we look at pretty much any website, you'll see it's like, um, it's like the homepage, 
whatever the these couple pages are and then everything else is going to be like nothing right <clears throat> and so at that point really going and optimizing these other pages probably isn't going to do a whole lot see that there's like none of them are getting really any traffic so you're better off just like focusing on getting these ones optimized because then you're going to at least get i don't know let's say an extra few hundred visits per month getting get some more leads and then i would just start building out the pages that actually have search rates because it might be that when you look at some of these other pages you know they have nothing to do with any searches like you'll see on websites especially older websites like ton of a ton of these um, pages probably have nothing to do with any of the searches um this one actually does the seo for orthodontists but that's what you do is like anytime you build out a new page you you go and look first you go like look dentistry has, hashtags you go look at the site, you go type in site colon like that. So that way you can see all the pages and then you type in dentistry hashtags. And if no pages show up, then you know you need to build a page. Uh, Justin said maybe three prospects, not clients. Okay, yeah. So probably by doing this stuff, probably you start getting like 10 to 12 maybe leads per month from doing that but that's really the main stuff um there isn't really a whole lot left here i mean everything else in here really just has to do with like either getting rid of these other pages i'd probably wait to get rid of these other pages just because there's a lot here <clears throat> and what i'd probably do is just start optimizing optimizing these top pages So, it's probably it. But yeah, that's it. I gotta head out anyways, guys, but it was fun hanging out with you. Hit me up if, uh, you have any questions, support at chaserunner.com. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy sailing. See you guys. Bye.